but Kyle here with a uh, another lesson. Um, this is for Lost, um, mainly the acoustic version on piano. Um, I thought I have a cover up with the uh, album version, but uh, I thought I had a lesson for this, but apparently I don't. And I thought I have for all these for the past couple of years, and I haven't. So here is a lesson for Lost, and uh, this is uh, the album version. It's just a uh, like an organ, but uh, this is gonna be the acoustic version. It's not, um, it's pretty accurate. It's, uh, I think I learned it from the sheet music and a little bit from ear and other videos on YouTube, but uh, it's a good version. I like to play it. Um, so we'll get started. Um, there's a couple main parts. Um, the, obviously the main riff, which is the, the verse and So I'll teach you that first. So the right hand is middle C. You're gonna play D, E, and G. That's your first chord. You kind of gotta. Um, I can try to explain the rhythm, but I mean, if you know the song, you should know how it goes. It's just. So it's just D, E, and G, first chord. Second chord, move the D down to a C. That's your second chord, C, E, G. All right, so. Next chord is gonna be B, D, and F sharp. Take the B off, and then add a G in to the D and the, uh, sorry, not G sharp, F, F sharp. That's that's that main riff. C down to a C. B D F sharp. D F sharp and G. See that? Repeat. Left hand. Um well, first off, um, I'll tell you what I do, then you can play however you want it, but uh, I kind of do it, the first verse, I do it with just the right hand, so it's just... And then that's, uh, when he says, doesn't mean I'm across, so... I'm across. It says across. I mean, I'm across. So left hand. Um, it's gonna be E, C, B, D. So the left hand is all right here. E, skip D, go down to C, B, up to D. C, B, D. So it's just... Now part two, that, that, that's a big part of the song, or kind of a small part, but it's in the end. It's a G, F sharp. So it'll just be... Does it mean I'm a cross? So hit that right before you go into the second verse. Do it again, but the, the, when he says just because I'm hurting, I do octaves. You can kind of add your own playing style to it, and it's just I kind of go back and forth a little bit. So that's the main riff in the uh, verse verses. Um, now I'm gonna bring you into the chorus. Um, so we'll do the right hand first. D, F sharp. This is the middle C. D, F sharp, A, and you kind of hit it like twice. 
and then you can you can try to spread and you're gonna hit the A. So it's Alright, the other part is E and G. F sharp and A. So I'll show you with like that. I hit it twice sometimes, so I'll, so I'll go. It's all about how you how you play it and what you prefer. So that's the right hand. So real quickly again, just D F sharp A A E and G F sharp and A and D F sharp and A again. So. I take my hand off and go down, but if you can if you can stretch, it'd probably be better. All right, last hand for that part. You're gonna be playing D octaves, and um, I think it's a uh, you play D octaves for the first, and then you you just play one D the whole time. So it's like slowly it'll be. D octave. So D octave is whenever you go back to the beginning. So. so the left hand alone should sound like this. It's just kind of bouncing. I kind of do that sometimes too if you notice it's Slide, slide down. So it's, it's like, it's like, so it's like four notes. All right, that's up to you how you how you play it. Um, so you do that. Just play it twice. Now it's trying to. It's just try to cross. So. You're gonna left hand, you're gonna move the D's down to a C and then up to a G and they're octaves. So you're playing the D's, C, G, and then right back to the D. And then that repeats for the left hand. So now we're on the right hand. Alright, so D, F sharp, and A. So See C E. Sorry. Yeah, it's C E and A. So. I think it is. Hold on. Yeah, C E A. C in the left hand, and then when your left hand moves up to G, all you do is move, you keep the A, and you move the C and E down to B and D. So. Left hand, C octaves. Right hand is going to be C, C, D, E, B, so C, D, E, B. Left hand goes up to G again. Right hand, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A. So left hand is pretty much the same. The left hand for the whole chord is just... D, C, and G. So doing the right hand again. So you, starting from the beginning of the chorus. Play it again. Now 
when you do this, oh, you don't go back to the chord. You just go, and then you do the. Um, acoustic version, he plays it twice. I remember uh, for an acoustic, a live acoustic, he played it once. Whatever works, I play it twice, maybe once, depending. So, here's how the whole chorus should sound. Back to the uh, beginning of the chorus. Play it twice. Now, after you hit the A, so. You're gonna play G and an F sharp. Leading back into the verse. Then play the verse. The verse, the verse is the same, it goes back into the chorus. It's the same exact thing, but it it says um, the lyrics change, but it's still the same rhythm, same number of uh, beats. But then it plays the it says waiting till the fire and stop, and then waiting till the shine wears off. So it just plays it twice. Oh, I'm just waiting till the fire and stop. Next part is the solo, and then it's the end. And I'll leave. I'll do that for part two. So that's part one. Um, real quickly, I'm going to uh, actually play the. I'll play what we have so far uh, with the music. Just give me one second. I didn't set up, and I should have. Alright, so I'll play what we have so far. It's pretty much most of the song, except for the solo and the end. The solo is my favorite thing to play for the this song. Alright, so. Solo. So, here, so here's everything we have so far.
tripods in the way. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is when he goes into the chorus, he might hold this stay on that chord, so it's like this is the third chord. Instead of going to that fourth chord, you just stay on that chord. Alright, and that's that. So uh, check out part two, it'll be the solo and the ending. And then that's that. Thanks for watching.